guys and welcome back to my channel if you've not subscribed to the family where have you been be sure to hit that red button as you can see from today's video it's gonna be a little spicy it's gonna be a little juicy so I think you should just quench your thirst grab a drink water juice whatever beverage of your choice sit back and relax because I got some tea to spill but I'm sipping on water. Tis the season where people are writing finals and I know a lot of people who are graduating either from high school or university or college are looking at getting jobs or entering some sort of job market I guess and I thought that this is very timely because I know the stress. It's really tough out here you know. I thought Sarah was gonna do something and um Y'all, oh, my first, um, I could say scam was pretty mild, but I think we should always be cautious because you know, people will scam until they scam no more. When I started a job last year, this job was not paying that good, so I was already looking for a new job. And when I went on this job portal site, I put in my application for a specific job, and I think I'd made this application at like nine in the morning. In two hours, which was at 11, I got an email basically telling me how I've been selected to go in for an interview and they really want to see me tomorrow between such and such a time. Two hours later, I was thinking, gee, girl, you are the one. But, um, yeah, that wasn't the case. <laughs> that was not the case. I decided to check out the address of the same company well i know i should have done that before and that was where i went wrong it showed me an image of an abandoned warehouse looking dingy ass place long story short um i did not pitch up for that interview i did do the courtesy of emailing them scammers that i wouldn't be able to pitch up for the interview to to um personal reasons my second experience in this job hunting craziness had to have been the craziest i've ever encountered it was wild i, I don't I, yeah it was wild i had applied for jobs on a popular job site usually it's an easy apply so you just keep on clicking and you apply for certain jobs that are just in line with your career and the things you're looking for weeks later I just never heard from companies um, but then there was a day I woke up to an email from a very prominent company saying that I had basically gotten the job of a admin something i never recall applying for that position but i did recall applying for a job in that company so i didn't throw it aside i was like okay i mean you are pretty big and everybody knows you and working in that company has benefits so let me actually investigate if this is true i checked out the application i had sent to them and it was for a completely different position when i then tried to make the link i thought okay maybe there was no opening for that position but they kept my cv in holding for another however it did look a little suspicious when i saw that they didn't even need me to go through an interview that i just got the job and i continued to read the email further it stipulated that i needed a police clearance within the next 24 hours anybody who knows in south africa you do not get a police clearance in 24 hours that's insanity like you got to wait weeks months for a police clearance so i called them up and found out if they had contacted the right person and lo and behold they were like yes miss perry we did contact the right person blah 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 and i was oh, okay i then went on to ask them about this really weird police clearance well you were supposed to have done this when you applied for the job as it stipulated it was a prerequisite i went onto my email with my job application that i did and when i looked at the requirements there was no police clearance mentioned they had inserted a link for a company that um, worked with SAPS South African police services and they basically would help get my police clearance 
So I then looked at this and I was like, okay, this sounds pretty legit. Um, let me talk to my rents and see what's up. In that time, my family and I get onto the Googler. We're looking at the company name. We're looking at everything about this. We're looking at the job positions. Everything looks okay, you know? We look at the email. We're like, mm, okay, okay. Everything looks like it's legit, you know? Though, something about this police clearance kept feeling funny. So my father then tells me, you know what, we need to rush with this police clearance. You need to get to the police station, get that sorted. I go there and I met with the line because it is at 11 in the morning. I'm really stressed because I was supposed to send in my contract signed um, at like, was it one o'clock? And I'm thinking, oh my word, I need to do this on time. I get to the offices. I'm told that a police clearance, ma'am, actually takes about like six weeks or more. <laughs> you, you don't get a 24 hour one. I call up this company. What's happening? They explained to me that, no, we need you to actually um, do this in 24 hours. Why don't you use our company site? I call my dad after I get off the phone with them. Then my father basically tells me that he does not trust this link or the site. And I was like, you know, and see, I'm thinking, oh my word, I need this job. And my dad was just like, nah, 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 something ain't right. I just, I don't know. 24 hours police clearance, six weeks and more. I don't know, fam. I end up putting a hold to everything and I went to my dad's office and I was like, okay, like, let's regroup. So me, my aunt, and my dad sat down, brought our notes together from what we found on the Googler, and basically, my aunt presents to me <laughs> an article of a lady who had been scammed by the same people who sent them the same type of email. They'll basically ask for you to apply for police clearance through this company, which is affiliated with SAPS. They require a payment of 560 to be sent via your ShopRite or Boxer. The catch is that there's no company behind these people. These are just people who scam you they take your 560 and you never hear from them again of course i was heartbroken when this happened but <sighs> you know we live and we learn and i was just so grateful that i did not pay anything i did however get a free police clearance well that was free but i mean i got a police clearance and because of that, I wanted to do this video just so that I could also warn you guys about the things that you need to look out for when you're job hunting. Because on top of being unemployed, we are broke. So my first thing is Google is your best friend. Like Google everything. Google the website. Google the job ad. Google the email address that it was sent to you. Google the job positions, go on the official site of whatever company and look at their career section. Find out if there are any job op openings for that. Also call other numbers. Make sure that whatever you're being told is in line with the actual, the real company. Find testimonials. When looking for a job, a lot of times you can get so excited about a job position. I'm seeing all these benefits and this and this looks great and they're telling me I can earn up to this much, but you don't really know the reality of the job once you get there you really see what's up actually make sure wherever you find yourself you're gonna be happy um, you're not gonna be kidnapped because we live in crazy times and thank you so much for watching this video I think it's gonna be pretty long yeah yeah this is a very long one but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up if you did and share it with family and friends please I'll see you in my next video and as always be awesome